Hello, I'm Dr David Waterhouse, Senior Curator of Natural History and Geology at Norfolk Museum Service. As part of Strangers Hall's Secret World Summer Programme, I'm going to be talking to you about mice, and you join me in my own secret world, the shed at the bottom of my garden. From Mickey to Jerry and Speedy Gonzalez, people love a cartoon mouse, but the real animal is perhaps, sometimes undeservedly, a little less loved. So first of all, what is a mouse? They are, of course, rodents, and are related to rats, squirrels, hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, and even beavers and porcupines. But rabbits and hares are not rodents. They're in a separate group called lagomorphs. The mouse family is incredibly successful, and found on every continent of the world, except Antarctica, from the tropics of Africa to the prairies of North America, and everywhere in between. In Britain, we have six species referred to as mice. The house mouse, the wood mouse or field mouse, the yellow-necked mouse, Eurasian harvest mouse, hazel dormouse and the edible dormouse. Confusingly, despite the word mouse featuring in their name, dormice are not true mice, although they are rodents and related to mice. The delightfully named edible dormouse isn't native to the UK and is only found in and around the town of Tring in Hertfordshire, thanks to escapees from Lord Rothschild's private collection in 1902. Although I've never tried one myself, they are indeed supposed to be edible, as some Romans considered them a delicacy. So to the four true British mice then. The harvest mouse is my personal favourite and it's our smallest with adults weighing as little as four grams. You won't normally find them in your house, as they tend to live in fields of grasses such as wheat and oats. They are in serious decline in Britain, and are quite rightly protected by UK law. The yellow-necked mouse was thought to be the same species as the wood mouse until 1894. It is larger than the wood mouse, and unsurprisingly, it has a yellowish patch, a bit like a neckerchief, on the neck under the chin. They occasionally come into our houses in the winter to avoid the cold. They're excellent climbers and have long tails for balance, and have a large, almost kangaroo-like back foot. This also makes them good jumpers, and when I've caught them in the past as part of survey work, I have to be very careful that they don't spring off before I've weighed them. The next mouse has two names. It's sometimes called the field mouse and sometimes called the wood mouse, but they're both exactly the same species. They are slightly smaller than their cousins, the yellow-necked mouse, and of course they don't have that yellow neck. They do sometimes cross our paths at home, but again, it's mainly in the winter. Finally, of course, we come to the house mouse, scientific name Mus musculus domesticus, which comes from the Latin for small domestic mouse. The Latin name mus is probably derived from the Sanskrit word musha, meaning a thief. As well as being found pretty much worldwide in the wild, it's this species that has been bred as the lab mouse and the fancy mouse kept as pets. House mice are slightly smaller than yellow necked and wood mice. They're greyish in colour and have smaller hind feet, so I guess they're a little less jumpy. Like other mice, they use their tails for balance, and a little like elephants use their ears, they use their tails to cool them down when it's hot, by controlling the blood flow through them extremely precisely. Amazingly, a house mouse's tail is determined by where they live. The colder the climate, the shorter the tail. House mouse behaviour is also very flexible, allowing them to survive in a huge range of different habitats and environments. Now, just like fallow deer, male mice are known as bucks and females as does. But their babies are called pups, or sometimes even pinkies. The house mouse is probably the second most common mammal in Britain. There's only one which is more numerous, human beings. So there you have it, a little glimpse into the secret world of mice. Next time you see one, or perhaps what they've left behind, remember there's more to mice than meats.
FBI. 